And welcome everybody to another edition of the GSMC Football Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. As always, I'm your host Kenneth Grunfelder and it's great to have you guys here on this Tuesday, July 9th. We have a lot to talk about on the show today. Before I get into that, just want to remind you guys, as always, to tip or donate and get your comments recognized. Make sure to go to the following link, that is gsmcpodcast.net. Again, that really helps the show, makes the show more interactive between myself, the host, and and you guys, the viewers, again, that is gsmcpodcast.net. And as always, it is displayed on the ticker at the bottom of the show segment down below. So, let's get into what we are going to talk about for today. So, we're going to start off the show, talk about some more comments made by Joe Burrow. This is regarding um, the Pro Bowl, as well as if the NFL does end up expanding to an 18-game schedule. So, we'll get into that. I'll give you my thoughts on it. Then, in... The second part of the show, I will continue my schedule breakdowns today. We will be going over the Chargers schedule, so that'll be the second part of the show. In the third part of the show, I will continue discussing contract negotiations regarding Tua Tungabailoa and the Miami Dolphins. Then in the fourth part of the show, some comments made by Lions defensive end uh, Aiden Hutchinson on the expectations for the team uh, going into the 2024 season and then in the final part of the show, just talk about uh, Josh Jacobs so the Green Bay Packers now and just his comments on his upcoming season, uh, his first season with the Packers, uh, the big one of the big free agent acquisitions that the Packers made this offseason. So that will be the final part of the show. So let's get into the first topic, which is discussing what Joe Burrow had to say uh, regarding the Pro Bowl as well as you know, the 18-game schedule that the NFL may eventually go to. So he talked about how, now regarding the Pro Bowl, he did talk about how the Pro Bowl could possibly be, you know, in season. Similar to how, you know, it is in hockey, how it is in baseball, how it is in basketball. Because the Pro Bowl is, you know, that week in between the championship games and the Super Bowl. And... This comes with, you know, if the NFL does expand to an 18-game schedule, that could kind of be like, I guess, the second bye week if they, you know, decided to put the pro move the Pro Bowl to within the season. Because the other thing, too, is with the Pro Bowl is a lot of times you don't have all the stars playing in the Pro Bowl. Now, I know the format has changed, but... You know, when you got guys like Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, and, you know, recently now Patrick Mahomes and those guys, you know, a lot of, well, partly because a lot of times, you know, Brady and Mahomes are playing in the Super Bowl, but a lot of these guys end up not going to the Pro Bowl because, you know, it's the end of the season and they kind of just want to, you know, take the time off unless they are playing in the Super Bowl, like Tom Brady has a bunch of times and now Patrick Mahomes has played uh, in the Super Bowl a bunch of times now as well, not as many times as Brady, but still. Uh, Within the season, if you move the Pro Bowl to, you know, during the year, you might see those guys playing in the Pro Bowl now, being involved in those festivities, which I think, you know, makes it better. Now, again, the format has changed. It's not like, you know, the traditional, you know, NFC versus AFC. You know, you play four 15-minute quarters and, you know, that's it, but... It's it's completely different now. There's skills challenges, and you know, then, then you got the flag football game, of course. So it it is different, but I mean, I, I'm fine with that idea. So this is the other stuff that he said. Um, you know, so that's basically it would be a uniform second bye week for all teams because he has talked about this before, Joe Burrow, where you know if you do expand the season to an extra week, got to give teams more bye weeks. Now, I know I went over, you know, the comments made by Roger Goodell on this topic. Uh, I didn't mention the second bye week. But, yeah, the second bye week, I think, is very important because, yeah, I mean, an extra game, you're going to add more wear and tear on these players throughout the season. Now, there's players that have said if this ends up happening – they obviously want to get paid, you know, as long as they're getting paid for the extra game, you know, there's players that'll do it. But I know there's some players that probably aren't huge fans of it 
just because, again, I mean, the football season's long enough as it is. Now you're expanding it another week. But I think at least adding another bye week and you move the Pro Bowl to within the season, that's something that I don't have a problem with. I, I think that would be a good idea because you would be giving every team another bye and gives them extra rest um, with that additional game. And it would still put the Super Bowl on track to being on President's Day weekend, and that would give fans an off day the following day, which I talked about that as well on a previous show. Now, for me, I probably don't have that off day. Now, if that was during the prime years of, you know, elementary school, middle school, high school, that would be great. Even college, that would be awesome. But that's not that's not the case. So most likely it we get that and the and the Super Bowl is being played on President's Day weekend. I, I myself I, I'm not going to have that off day, but that's okay. So, uh, I, but I'm definitely I'm definitely on board with this uh, with this idea. So Burrow uh, proposed uh, Week 13 as the Pro Bowl break, and he said, um, I guess with the seven on seven skills challenges that he said that. Um, this could increase ratings and provide all teams a break before the final stretch of the season, which I do agree with. And Burrow's proposal shows he's consider he considers both NFL and player interests, suggesting he could be, well, that this is just an article that I was looking at. It said he could be a future NFL commissioner. I mean, I don't know if that's going to happen, but that's at least what was in the article that I was um, that I was looking at. But yeah, I mean, listen, if you have the interest of both, you know, the NFL itself and the players, I mean, yeah, um, you know, you want to try to compromise, and, and so both parties are uh, are satisfied. But it's something that I, I think will be a conversation because that's probably what we're going to end up going towards is an 18 game uh, schedule, and you know, only time will tell how that all plays out. But like I said, I don't have a problem with it. I, I think that's you know, a good um, thing that could be beneficial for both sides, uh, mainly the players, because, again, if you're adding an extra game, you want to, you know, give them extra rest. And I, I think this year, I mean, you're seeing some wacky schedules, um, you know, especially late in the season when you have, you know, four teams playing on a Saturday and then they're playing on the following Wednesday you know that that kind of just that's a little wacky in my opinion but you know they want the NFL wants to have games on Christmas you know you got games being played on Friday you got games being played on Wednesday the only the only day that doesn't have a game is a Tuesday so we'll see if you know they end up flexing a game on a Tuesday just you know just to say hey we got games every day of the week so and now the NFL's kind of you know conflicting with the college football schedule as well uh late in the season so, yeah, it's uh, yeah, we got a lot of football. I mean, I haven't gone over it, but those final couple of weeks in December, I mean, it's going to be unbelievable. The the schedule when you got the college football playoffs starting, and then you know you got the NFL season is about to end. I mean, th those last few weeks, uh, it, it, it's a lot of football to be consumed, which is really exciting. But yeah, it, it's only a matter of time before they expand to an 18 game schedule you know that's what they want to do and there's maybe a possibility that they could even go more than that maybe even the 20 games now it's that's even further down the line once we get to an 18 game schedule but it's just something to think about so but let me know what you guys think though about this proposal by joe burrow he said week 13 would be around that time uh, for that second bye week but what's interesting is you know, would every team have a buy up to that point? Because with this season, you know, there's there's teams that don't have bye weeks until like I think week fourteen. So I mean, they probably, I mean, they'll figure it out. I guess maybe bye weeks will be maybe be a little bit earlier in the season. I don't know. I don't know what exactly it would be. Again, this is just an idea. This is not something that's getting put into motion just yet. But it is something to think about because. Let's be honest. When you talk about the Pro Bowl, I mean, even with this new format, I'm not, I'm not. Oh, I gotta watch this. I I, I gotta pay attention to this. You know, it's just, 
I eat the my favorite version of the Pro Bowl was the regular game, but it was when they did the fantasy drafts. You know, you had, you know, two Hall of Famers draft teams and then they play against each other. It'd be a mix. It wouldn't just be the traditional NFC AFC. You know, they did that for how how long did they do that for? They did that for what, three years? You know, it, it that was fun. But you know, then they kind of went back to the traditional NFC versus AFC, and it was, you know, boring. Nobody's really trying. Because players actually did try in those games. But also, the Pro Bowl actually meant something. Because you had home field advantage on the line. And, and I mean, it's kind of the same thing in baseball, too. Because, I mean, I, I, me personally, I think the baseball All-Star game is my personal favorite. But... um you know, th those all-star games meant something when it came to home field advantage. Now it's just, they don't, it, they don't really have, there's not really any stakes. So, but we'll see what ends up happening. You know, if the, I, I think, again, it's a good idea. If they expand to an 18-game schedule, you get that second bye week. I think you're going to have to do that. Uh, but only time will tell, right? I mean, it's not going to happen this year. Maybe it happens next year. Who knows? But... I, I like Joe Burrow's idea. So let me know what you guys think about it. How do you feel about it? So we're going to take our first break now. And then when we come back, we'll continue our schedule breakdowns. Right now, we're, we're in the last division, uh, last few teams here. We did the Chiefs yesterday. Today, we will be doing the Chargers schedule. So I'll get into their schedule, give you my early thoughts on it, their early win-loss predictions for them. So that is what we will do when we come back from our uh, first break of the show. So stick around, and we'll be right back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. <laughs> 